Well, good day, church. I pray that everything is going well and that you are having some sense of sanity in your environment and your family and your home or whatever you're doing. We just pray that uh, in these days in which we're kind of just waiting that you'll, you'll find peace and tranquility and take the opportunity to draw close to the Lord in the time that he's given us at home and uh, away from our jobs or whatever your situation. Let me share with you a passage out of Galatians chapter 4 that means so much to me. He says in Galatians 4 verse 4, But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. When you go back in the word of God, you'll discover that in eternity past, God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit planned and created the heaven and the earth. And yet even before Adam ever breathed his first breath, the Word of God tells us that the Lord knew that sin would enter into the world and would create a separation between God and His prized creation, man. However, a plan for our redemption was in place. And what Paul is saying here in Galatians chapter 4 is, when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth that baby into the world to live a sinless, perfect life that he might go to the cross and pay the ultimate sacrifice and penalty for our sins. You know, the Lord doesn't do anything haphazardly. Every plan of life that God has is predetermined and is meticulously carried out at just the right time. And that's the truth that doesn't just apply to the big things of human history like we're experiencing with this uh, coronavirus. God has a specific plan for every believer and he works to accomplish his goal in every Christian's life. He ordained the day of our birth. He picked our parents for us. He knew where we would be raised. He had complete knowledge of what every day holds for us. He knows how long we will live on this earth. He knows when and how and where we will be when we take our last breath. And just as God did when Jesus was born, God will, in the fullness of time, execute each part of his will for your life and for mine. However, although his plans are good for us, the only way you and I will ever uh, see those purposes fulfilled in our life is as we submit to him. That's what Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 tells us, that all things are working together for good to them who love God and to those who are the call according to his purpose. And so the question today is, are you letting the Lord have his way in your life? Even when the need seems urgent, a person with a spirit yielded to the Lord who waits patiently for the Heavenly Father's plans to unfold in our life in his timetable and the one complete knowledge and wisdom that we all have is that God has a plan and a purpose for our life. But he wants us to wait patiently upon him. That's what the psalmist said over in Psalm chapter 27 and verse 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Then the psalmist in Psalm 37 and verse number 3 says, Trust in the Lord 
and do good. And so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he will give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust in him, and he shall bring it to pass. For he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in the way. And then down in verse number 34, he says, Wait on the Lord, keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, so thou shalt see it. Let's just trust the Lord in these days of uncertainty, knowing that God is working in our life to fulfill his purpose in everything that we do. What you're doing today is going to make an effect tomorrow. And prayerfully, you'll have an effect upon someone's life who in these uncertain times sees that as the believer and a follower of Jesus Christ, that he gives us a peace that passes all understanding. I love you and pray that your day goes well. Thank you.